Yeah, yeah, Timothy okay. says, I just got a MacBook Air M3. Well, congrats. Uh, and he says, love it. It's running Sonoma out of the box. What would be reasons for staying with Sonoma rather than upgrading to Sequoia right away? If I upgraded to Sequoia now and ran into an issue, how difficult would it be to go back to Sonoma? Thanks, uh, Tim. Ooh, pick Dave. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Do you have I, this I will, issue? Is there experience in the in the room? <laughs> there, there is not 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 with fifteen versus fourteen, but I think either fourteen, thirteen, or thirteen, twelve, or something. I I needed to prove Apple's engineers wrong uh, that their the aggregate device issue that was happening was related to the operating system upgrade and not some other thing that I had done. So answering Timothy's questions in reverse. Rolling back from the, you know, one operating system, one major version to the prior major major version is not supported. There's no version of migration assistant that's going to let you do this. However, you can do an over the top install of it and force it into place and it will run some stuff. The only the things that had problems were Apple apps because like mail you can't put the new version of mail on the old operating system and my database had already upgraded. Same with photos, but third party apps were fine. And also logic was fine. And yes, I proved that this was Apple's problem, not mine. And they did not like hearing that, but that's the only way you get Apple to fix a bug is by putting them in a corner. This is about Timothy though. Uh, so if you need to roll back, you will have to nuke and pave. That is the right thing. And it is also what I wound up doing eventually after I proved them wrong. I, it was like, okay, well now my system, like that part of it works great, but the rest of it's a disaster. <laughs> so, um, I don't recommend it. So if you have to roll back, you've got to, you've got to take backups and, and then just nuke and pave and go from there. Your question about upgrading, uh, should you upgrade from 14 to 15 Mac OS 14 to Mac OS 15? I have Mac OS 15 on every machine, but the one I'm sitting at here and I love it on all of them. It's been working great for me. I love the AI features. I love the integrations. It, it, every bit of it is great. The one, there were two reasons I was holding out here in the studio and I'm told that one of them is gone. And that is the drivers for my audio interface, my personas quantum 2626, uh, which I use for the show and everything else, uh, re band rehearsals, uh, you know, music recording, all that stuff. Uh, the drivers for that are now uh, compatible with with Mac OS 15, which is great. And, and I always wait a little bit uh, for that reason. The other thing is the thing I've now mentioned, I think, three episodes in a row and everybody's sick and tired of it is the, the changes to web apps. I just need to figure out how to make um, Unite from bzg apps work for me and and then we're good to go so 